I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting to you on the grain market. Today in soybeans, the market was really steady. Commercial buyers came in and they really offered some support for the futures. Uh, there's been rains across the Midwest uh, and that has eased some of the worries uh, uh, for you know any kind of crop damage and you would think that there would be a little bit of a sell-off but we've kind of been in the lows we're just below the real support number of 940 and so uh, just being below that the market has found a little bit of equilibrium and there's a many factors still left in the market and we still have uh, a little more time before the crop really is uh, ready to harvest uh, speaking of that the corn also was lower and the futures are really testing that contract lows uh, the market has just been churning down ever since the crop report on August 12th and when it was sharply lower. Uh, technically speaking though, um, uh, we're concerned that maybe if it tests these lows that we're going to have some follow through selling, that would really push the market uh, into areas we haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, but you know, we're ready to enter the original harvest time uh, at this time, but you know that we're going to push everything back a couple of weeks because the the you know it was very difficult to get most of the crop in on time. So all this timing is really going to be changing somewhat, and uh, we're going to have to look for that as we move into September. Uh, all bets are off in the wheat, but the wheat the wheat fell again, and uh, it certainly seems that all factors are just showing a bearish sentiment all the way across the complex. The market has it's been two months since we actually saw the high, which was right around. Uh, July 1st and uh, you know we have not seen that number again the market has almost come straight down and just trending all the way uh, down to where we are now it just seemed that it couldn't sustain that uh, that number uh, what we're looking at what's the real truth here is that the world wheat glut uh, is still intact there's been supplies everywhere and uh, in that case that whatever was lost in the spring wheat doesn't really matter on prices and so it's moved us down we are still higher overall since we started this summer, but um, it certainly looks like as everything's coming in that it, it isn't uh, that terrible uh, to the crop as a whole. So we're going to be watching for that. Now, this is still very early. The market's relatively quiet for this time of year. Uh, the heat isn't as much as we actually thought it would be. Uh, that's not to say that things m uh, won't get ramped up uh, as we as we move along. So we, there's still a lot more volatility left in the market. So uh, we're, this is just Monday. So uh, there's still uh, a lot of things ahead. That's all from the floor at the CME Group. I'm Virginia McGathy.